Hey guys, but welcome back to the Cool Gaming Show today, guys. And today, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use the PS2 controller on the Zimage 4 on the Xbox One. So, several things you need for this is a, a console. <coughs> uh, some things, let's talk about things you need. One is a console, which would be Xbox One or PS4, pin, which comes with your choice. But the Zimage 4 does also support 360 and the PS3. Just to let you know that. You will need a phone and actually the download the Zimage. What do you call it? Zimage? The Zim. Zim Phone Manager. You need your controller for your console. A USB for your controller. So in this case, I'm using my 3D controller wire. A PS2 controller, obviously, because I'd be handy. And some type of PS2 adapter to make it work on the PS3 or 360. Or in my case, I'm using uh, a 2 in 1 type adapter. Okay, I am going to do some Rocket League gameplay and you, I will be able to face cam so you guys can actually see that I'm actually using a PS2 controller on Rocket League. So, step one is the, and also you do need the Zimage 4 cable, I just got about that. But yeah, but that comes with the Zimage 4 as long as you're playing brand new. Okay. Okay, first one we need to do, guys, is go straight to the pit, the the zim, the the zim, plug in the zim, plug in USB cable for the zim. In this case, I'm trying to do one handed. Actually, every time I do shit one handed, it doesn't go. Got to connect now in the back. See like that. I forgot to mention. On the front, there's two USBs. There's one for keyboard and mouse, but in this case, we're using controllers because the image does support that. There's a P button for pin up with Bluetooth, which we'll get them later. Do have three dots and a C and a, and a C for power, well, for the console basically, a console and power. Second thing we need to do then is connect up our USB cable for our, our controller. So basically, our, for our Xbox One. It's not that angry, So basically, in this case, I got my Xbox One big control cable going all the way, all the way around. Plug it into my Xbox 3 controller. Uh, by the way, you do need to take your battery pack out, but my battery pack is in because mine's actually uh, dead. So I'm not worried about mine taking mine out so much. Next, then grab the PS2 adapter and plug it into one of the front. Port of the Zim, just like so. Then grab your, grab your PS4, I'll uh, grab your PS4, grab your PS2 controller, as well as your PS1 controller, or PS1 or PS2 controller, and plug it in for the adapter. Next thing you gotta do then is actually just to grab your USB then for your Zim Edge 4, you know, the, the power cable, uh, and plug it into your console, which this gives me some of the fucking side. Oh no, it is. We got it done first time. Next one says, next minute you know, grab your phone, go to your Bluetooth, knock on your Bluetooth, and eventually, then I'm going to my peaceful to make it easier, and I'm going to this kind of speaker. Okay. So what we're going to do it is first is let the phone search, in this case I'm going to let the phone search, click the P on the back of the Zim and it should go like green, let's see if we can do it again, it's a green light blue and it should go back the color you got your uh, format set up if you're using just the normal format set up. Then you Zim Edge 4 should pop up in your online area, connect that up and now it's in your connection area. What you do from there is go there. So the, the Zim Phone Manager. Let's get public connect. You're going to do some PC as well as Apple phones. Uh, this case I got my uh, default. I got because this is my one. I actually got it set up as a default one for me. Uh, right now, this we're going to just click on the three hours on the top and click in new. Sorry, that's my fault. 
click on new and click on console controller crossover and click on that. I'll say I'm gonna do it because I already did it. Uh, so mine's set on default, but if you do want to change your buttons, you can go to me here. You also got keyboard or something. Don't worry about that too much. It's just like it's just for your keyboard. If you have a keyboard connector, if you have buttons, and then basically that nurse your buttons from your Xbox One controller for this case, or your PS4 controller, or PS sorry PS2 controller. Mine is as default. You can even change the light on these red for like which mine is blue and they look at the image bow as you can see is just saying it doesn't have a lot of lights but I prefer the nice blue because the blue just look nice. In my opinion, so right now you can just click save on the save button up there, or at least it was up there. However, uh, now that new class is ready to go. New class is ready to go. Pretty much guys. From there, then you pick up your PS2 controller. And, you know, I'm trying to think of the best is like had an old enough PS2 controller. One handed. Sorry. So I was old on my camera, it's like really complicated. As, as, as you can see. As you can see, it does work. Uh, it works like what it should do. Um, so right now, guys, I'm going to take you to the gameplay a bit, and I'll catch you guys in a couple minutes. So, goodbye. Right, okay. I um. Uh, obviously, guys, have to really set up the Zen 4 and use the PS2. Control next this one. So right now guys, I'm actually going to do some Rocket League gameplay, I'm actually using the latest game mode which they recently added in, which is called Deadshot. So I'm a sexy in a Warhog. I've got the PS2 controller, I'll just pull that. Can we do it with this image for set on right down by here, if you guys can see that. And it's right by you, you can set it all connected. Poof. Again. So yeah, she comes back on. So Obviously, because we've done it, we set up the, we set it up. Fuck! I did trick Eddie. If you guys play this games mode, it's kind of fucking weird. I'll play this a couple of times. I can suck at this. I have no idea why I choose this game on the whole game once. Motherfucker is fire shot. Thank you. 
Come on, come on, oh, really? We're gonna have to destroy all the bastards. Why don't we just do a different new mode instead? This one's not the best one. Okay guys, after Tess is out giving us some gunplay and the game because Rue, it really just feels similar to paid out using it. With the quest max race, it's really the similar setup, a similar kind of setup, just a bit different, a bit odd, a bit usual. And from that, there's Image 4, there's a good adapter, and this PS2 adapter does honestly work perfectly fine with it. Also, the PS2 before it does work with the more PS2 Pro kind of say I am, I never really had the PS2 console. It's the reason why I'm a bit shit with the, the controller. Uh, so honestly, I tell you, I, oh, isn't that guys, I think that's it. I think after setting it up, give us a test, I think it's really good, it feels really similar to the using it as, as well as with the Quest Max Rice. Um, later on, some point this month, I know it's the end of May now, but some point later on this month, when this gets uploaded, I think it should be uploaded by tomorrow, 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 by tomorrow, by, by tomorrow, by by tomorrow, by tomorrow at some point. Uh, all the time show, I'm actually doing three different adapters, and the Christ Maestro's and the Image 4 is one of them, and I also do have another adapter, which I'm going to be doing the first, just to prove that it actually does this. Other than that, nice. guys, that's really about it. That's really about it. That's really about it. That's really about it. Much. That's really about it, I'm done with the fuck's wrong with me. But yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you did enjoy, right, please leave it like up. If you do, guys, want to see more, the same edge for all the quest match tries, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys want me to do challenging with these dampers, I'm really interested to hear about that because I think about doing challenges with these dampers for a long time. Um, I think it would be interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys are new, please hit subscribe. And if you guys did enjoy, leave a like. And if you did, if you, if you did find this video really helpful, let me know down below the comments down below as well as so leave a like on this video. And uh, if you guys got any questions down below, I'll do my best and answer them. Uh, like I do the course Max Trace one. You guys had some questions. I wanted you to some questions. Uh, I did answer it as best as I possible because why I believe. Uh, what well, could work or not? Can it work? Uh, otherwise, then, guys, leave me down below in the comments and in, enjoy. 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 Goodbye.